I'll be going through this video pretty quickly so make sure you pause the video and try out the features that I will show you. Let's get started. First go to Google Drive by typing in drive.google.com. Here you can click the new button and then Google Docs to create a new Google document. If you already have a Word document that you would like to upload in Docs, click on the settings icon, settings, and check the convert uploads checkbox to convert files like Word Docs into Google Docs editor format. Once you've done that, click done and drag the Word Doc into the Drive window. Another option to create a new Google Doc is to go to docs.google.com slash document which is the place specifically for Google Docs and not any other Google Apps. Here you can click blank to start a new document or choose a template from the template gallery. First rename your document by clicking here. Go ahead and add your text into your document. You will find that all changes are automatically saved. Let's start formatting. I'll first change the style for my text, then the font. You can add more fonts to your list here. Let's say that you want to update the normal text style to be what you have currently. To do this, highlight your text and then go to Styles, Normal Text, and then Update. You can do this for your other styles as well. In the toolbar, going down the line, we have the buttons for Undo and Redo, Print, spell check, and paint format where you can copy the formatting from any text and apply it to another section of text. Continuing on, we have zoom, bold, italics, underline, and text color, the highlight feature, and a button to add a link to text. Here you can type in or paste in an address or use a suggested link from Google or link a file from your Google Drive, or click Find More to go to the web to find a link. After highlighting your text, you can add a comment with this button. Type in your comment. You can also assign a comment to a specific person so that they can take a look at it. To assign a person, type plus and then the person's name, which will bring about a list of people you might know. Click on that person, check the Assign box, and then the Assign button. Up at the top, you can open the doc's comment history. So even if you click resolved for a comment, it will be documented here. Next is the image button. You can insert an image through your computer, from the web, from your drive, from your Google Photos account, by URL via the web, and your computer's camera. I'll use Google Photos. I'll search for photos where I am teaching, and then drag the image onto my doc. You can crop it by double clicking on the image and adjusting the small thin black bars on the edges. You also have other options to edit your image. Click on the image and then go to image options. Here you can recolor your image, make adjustments to the transparency, brightness and contrast of the image, and reset back to the original image here. Continuing on the toolbar, we have the alignment buttons, line spacing, numbered and bulleted list, decrease and increase indent buttons, and the clear formatting button. On the far right you will see a button that says editing. This is because you are currently in the editing mode where you can make any changes to the document you choose. However, if you are collaborating with others in a doc and want to suggest some changes instead of actually making those changes, you can go to the suggestion mode and make changes. These suggested changes won't change the original text until the document owner approves them. You must have edit or comment access to the document to suggest changes. There is also a thin sidebar on the right that allows you to access your calendar, keep, and tasks. So you don't need to have two windows open to access your information. With calendar, you can access your events in a color-coded list and even create an event right here. With keep, you can create a new note and type notes while you work. This new note will be assigned to this specific Google Doc. And finally, in tasks, you can create a list of tasks that may be required to complete your Google Doc. The best part of Google Docs to me is that you can work on the doc at the same time with your colleague, providing a true real-time collaboration experience. To share your doc with others, click the share button. Type in the email address of the person or group you want to share with here. On the right, you can change the person's access level, give them permissions to edit, or just view the document. Once you click the send button, the person will be notified via email. 
If you don't want them to get an email notifying this action, just uncheck the Notify People box. You can also collaborate in real time through the chat box. If more than one person has your document open, just click Show Chat and start directly communicating with your team, helping you to get instant feedback on your work. With Docs, you can also create a table by going to Insert, then Table, and selecting the number of columns and rows for your table. You can format and make changes to your table by right-clicking on it. You can insert or delete rows and columns, merge cells, as well as change the properties of the table here. Change the table's border color and thickness, the cell's background color, etc. You can also integrate Google Drawing into your doc, a tool that can help you create any type of graphic, including flowcharts and banners. Under Insert, click on Google Drawing and choose a new drawing or a drawing you already created in your drive. To learn more about this specific tool and its features, please click on the link to my Google Drawing video. Once done, click Save and Continue. Under Insert, you can also add a chart. Your data can come from a pre-existing Google Sheet, or you can add your data by clicking on the table, the drop-down arrow on the right, and then Open Source. You will be taken to a new sheet where you can alter your data. Go back to the doc and click on the Update button. Your chart will change to depict your new data. At the top of my doc, I like to add a table of contents by going to Insert. This will create a table of contents that lists all your headers into sequential order. This is beneficial especially when your doc contains many pages. Simply click on a specific section of the table of contents and it will take you to that section of the doc. You can also add shortcuts to specific places within your document. For example, since I'm at the bottom of the page, I want to create a shortcut that will take me back to the top of the page. I'll type back to the top here and then head over to the top of the page and insert a bookmark. Then I'll go back to the bottom and link this text to the bookmark. The tool that I really enjoy using is Explore. Under Tools and Explore, you will find a sidebar where you can search docs and the web. Here in Topics, you will find possible topics you might be interested based on the text you have in your doc. Also suggested images as well based on the content of the doc. Up in the search bar, let's try Design Thinking. Here you can find web results for my search. You can click on a result and it will send you to the website. Let's say you find valuable information from this site and want to add it to your doc. Once you have typed the information, place the cursor at the end of the sentence. Hovering over the web result, you will find a quotation mark that will allow you to automatically cite the resource into the footnote. Let's now go to images and drag an image found on the web into the doc. You will find that the image is actually linked to the website the image is actually from. And drive. You will find files in your Google Drive that is related to your query, in this case design thinking. And finally, voice typing is a speech-to-text feature that allows you to speak into your device's mic and your text will appear automatically without any typing. Click on the mic and start speaking. Hello, my name is David Lee. Now you are a Google Docs expert. Please check out my other Google Apps videos and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.